Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Diecast Emporium Military Mondays brought to you by my friends at SmallScaleHobbies.com. Visit SmallScaleHobbies.com for all of your wargaming and or 187 military scale model needs. Subject of today's video is the UK Chieftain MK5 uh, or Mark V tank. This was a pretty feared tank back in the Cold War era. The 187 or HO scale model of it that we'll be looking at today is by Artitech. It is ready-made, assembled, weathered, and finished. Meaning, in short, all you got to do is take it out of the box and it is ready to go on your collection. So, there's what the model looks like inside the packaging. Here we have the side sticker, which tells you what model it is and what the item number is. In this case, 6870143. There will be a link to purchase this down in the video's description if you want to add one of these to your collection. All you got to do is click on that link. All right, all the Autotech models are screwed to the base, so allow me just a moment or two. We're going to unbox it and put it on the spin table. All right, everyone, thanks for sticking with me. We have the Chieftain out of the box. Allow me to read you just a little bit more about the real vehicle. The Chieftain was designed in the late 1950s as a successor to the Centurion, with production beginning in 1963. Nearly 1,000 vehicles entered service with the British Army, with considerable numbers being sold to Kuwait and Iran, where they saw service in the Iran-Iraq War. Until the Leopard II entered service with the German army in 1980, the Chieftain was the best armed and armored main battle tank in the world and remained the mainstay of the British armored forces on NATO's front line in Germany with frequent technological advances such as laser rangefinders, thermal imaging devices, until being slowly replaced by the Challenger, in the late 1980s. It included a bridge layer, engineer tank, and recovery vehicle amongst its many variants. The chieftains in the British Army are still in service. So again, country of origin would be the UK. It took a crew of four to operate this tank. 120,000 pounds was the gross weight of this vehicle. Range was about 310 miles. Its armor, at least it's in the newer versions, its composite armor is classified. It has one main 120 millimeter rifled gun, as you can see here. So pretty much the same gun that's on the Abrams tank. One 7.62 millimeter coaxial machine gun and six smoke discharge launchers seen here. All right, that's information about the real Chieftain. Let's now talk about the model. Obviously, I really love this paint job. Um... NATO camouflage is kind of what they were going for here, although there's really not a whole lot of brown, just pretty much black uh, with, or I'm sorry, green with black streaks. There's a little bit of brown up here on the gun barrel. The antennas look nice, and if you look really close, you can see all the various accessories, such as a jerry can and equipment bags that can be found on the tank. Two antennas as well, a machine gun up on top. Several hatches are opened as well. Unusually for... At least many of the Artitech finished models that I have, there is a little bit of functionality on this model. You can rotate the turret a little bit. So there you go. Overall, I think it's a very impressive looking model and one that would fit your military collection quite well, especially if you model anything from the late 1960s all the way up to today. As I mentioned in the introduction, click on the video's link if you want to purchase this straight from the Small Scale Hobbies website. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it insightful, or maybe a little bit of both, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And finally, if you look at your screen right now, you can see a full playlist of every single Military Mondays video that we've ever done here on the channel. So be sure to pull up your favorite adult beverage, maybe some popcorn, and uh, have a little mini binge-watching marathon. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.